Let's keep this going. This next guy is coming for a ride. The funniest fan, I believe. Isn't that right? Where? Where's my man Chris at? Chris, where you at? Come on, give it up for Chris, y'all. All right, or a team. Or a dizzle. <laughs> second, second time I'm seeing it, I'm just fucking playing this one. Charlie Sheen. No. The risk could be the dead war. Uh, I'm going to talk about it. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Somewhere in the Arizona shooter is sitting in a jail cell going, this motherfucker is crazy. <laughs> he says he's not by polar, he's by women. As opposed to his guys who are by. And every fucking thing they can with the money before it runs out, okay? Because they love him. The words of Rick James, cocaine tell the drug. Okay? Okay? And, 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 you know, Charlie knows about cocaine because he's banging seven grand rocks because that's how you roll. <laughs> that's how he rolls. What the fuck is your written? Dates for rapper how to guy 1991 version? What the fuck? But if you think about it, right? Charlie Sheen could be a gangster rapper. Because he kind of does share the same attitude, so great gangster rappers like Tupac, Chichapur. <laughs> Dr. Dre is not a real doctor. Ice T he was not really a friend. And Flavor Flav. Okay? Think about it. Problems with the Pogies. Check. Glorified use of drugs. Check. Children with multiple women. Check. Violence against uh advocates violence against his rivals. Check. Has a white girlfriend. Check. Gangster rapper. <laughs> he can even join up in the same pantheon of the great Ice Cube. Because he does the occasional child friend the movie every now and then. You know, Ice Cube going from, fuck him, Paul Lisa, are we there yet? <laughs> so uh, my wife and I were at the dollar store a couple of weeks ago, right? We're going in and checking us down. She's a teacher, so she gets shit on cheap, you know? <laughs> Pick her. Anyway, we're checking it out. We're in the checkout line. I look behind the fucking checkout line, and there you go. Dollar store brand condoms. I'd rather trust my girl black needs to a use Ziploc bag with holes in it. You know, fucking condoms in the dollar store. And right next to that, they got a fucking dollar store brand I guess they're trying to tell you, hey, you know what? If you're going to use the dollar store condoms, you better be ready to use the fucking condoms. But luckily, ladies, they got the morning after pill dollar store doors. <laughs> They sell no down the stairs. That shit doesn't work. <laughs> right? But, you know, the number of great work is going to help. But you know, you may need to be here, though. Two for one. But I shouldn't talk shit to you, though. You know, because I am an unreleased father. Any dad out there? Anyone raking on your doll? I know, that's why I know. Like I said, speaking of results, one of my favorite things on TV is that shit on Maury with fraternity results. That shit is fucking hilarious. That, that's a train wreck. On TV every day, because that's the only shit where it does anymore. No, but it's great. Because the other dad's up there all the time, like, now, now, he's not my son. He's not my son. Okay, he looks like me. He's not my son. He's like, like, you're the father. And then all of a sudden, the mother's like, yeah, that's right. Like, you just motherfucking lie to me. Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. Time to pay. And he's sitting there stopping, like, yelling at his dick, like, fuck you. Why did you do this to me? That's the last fucking time. A lot since I was young. My mom just bought my daughter this fucking dog. Violet, okay? The cool thing about Violet is you can program your kid's name so the dog says the name. But the thing is, the dog's voice is different from the voice of when it says the kid's name. So it's like, hi, my name's Violet, is your name? Oh, like fucking James Earl Jones is possessed a fucking dog. You know? But the first time we turned on, it was like, it was like, Hi, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. I'm hungry. Great, so I got another fucking mouth to feed. And I'll get it again. Hi, Olivia. I'm sad. Great, so the dog's hungry and present thinks the fucking teenager. Okay? Now, the other day I caught a fucking street teaching on sex. You know? The fuck? Anyway, but, okay, but I gotta tell you, I was in Toys R Us the other day. I saw the most. Racially racist fucking package toy ever. Look this shit up. I'm not fucking with you, okay? You can call me racist. No, this is fucking racist, okay? The Little Tykes Neighborhood Market. Look that shit up on your phones right now, okay? On, it's a fucking life size grocery store for kindergartners to play with. The playset. The picture is a bunch of kids waiting 
in line at the grocery store. Who's behind the fucking counter at the grocery store? It's a fucking Asian kid behind the counter at the cash register. Okay? And I'm gonna say East Asian. Fuck it. He was probably fucking Korean. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Asian people made pasta. Anyway, <laughs> in the fucking bottom corner, same grocery store, a little black girl is sadly closing that shit down. Okay, <laughs> fucking running out. All this missing in the fucking grocery store, what? All you need to make it a little bit more racist is some fucking Toy 40 and some Lucy cigarettes. That's all you fucking need. What's next? The toy call center with a bunch of fucking Indian kids running in? What the fuck is that? <laughs> anyway, all I know is this, I'm so sorry, I know this, and my daughter fucking. She's so young, but she destroys everything she touches. Absolutely everything. Okay? My clothes, the furniture, her toys, my sex life, my hopes, my dreams, my desires, my aspirations, which is why I'm a federal employee. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much! <laughs> yeah, give it up for Chris, man. Best of luck in the time here, too. Uh, <clears throat> let me think. Uh, more housekeeping. Capital of the City Showcase this, this weekend, right? Right, so Saturday at the DC Arts Center, y'all might want to check that out. Uh, a lot of different people are going to talk on stage, they've been there before, um, they've all done it, and uh, yeah. Um,